Okay, what is up guys? So today we're going to be installing a Wolf Suspensions lift on a Ford Ranger 99. And we got in this box is the lift they sent us out. So, so what you get in the package is they send you out some stickers for Wolf Suspension. You get your shackles for the rear and they are 1.5 to 2 inch. Uh, lift for your shackles, so you got either 1.5 inch here or 2 inch here. And then they also send you out these Zerks, Zerk fittings for the shackles, so you can keep them lubed up. And you get the and you get the torsion bar keys for the front. And these are one to three inch lift torsion bar keys. Also in the package, you get an installation guide for your torsion key and an installation guide for the shackles. So it's a really simple installation. We will go step by step with it. We're going to go ahead and explain to you how these torsion keys work to lift the truck. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how the Wolf Suspension Torsion Key Aftermarket Lift is going to change the lift height of your vehicle. So, right here is a drawing of the stock torsion key that came on your Ford Ranger. And as you can see, the hex pattern is about flush with the rest of the torsion key. So this is the degree that the torsion bar is going to start out with when you install it and before you add tension to the torsion key. So this is the aftermarket torsion key. As you can see, it's got a different angle of that hex, and that is the degree of rotation that the torsion bar is going to start at before you add load to the torsion key. So how torsion suspension works is if this is the torsion bar, this hex is going to sit inside the hex of the torsion key and it's going to go up into the lower control arm and it's going to impart a rotational downforce on the lower control arm through the tire and that's what's going to hold your truck up off the ground. So the, the angle of rotation of this hex before you add load to the torsion key, that's what changes between the stock and the aftermarket to give your truck a a higher ride height and maintain the same quality of ride. Here is the before of the suspension flex. Keep going. Give it some speed. See, go, go, go at it with uh, some run. Now go. Hit it. That's good. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, guys, so this is about how much flex we have. We're almost tucking tire there that and right we are tucking tire back here quite a bit so this is what the ranger looks before the lift and we'll get a measuring tape and measure this out so we can see how much we're lifting it i think we're going to do 2.5 in the front and 1.5 in the rear okay guys so the first thing you want to do to get the lift on is lifting up the truck in the air so let's go ahead and lift it up for, lucky for us, we get to use this uh, two post lift, so it's a lot easier. And once you get on the lift, you want to shake it, make sure it's really sturdy on there, because you don't want anyone under the truck and uh, the truck falling off, because that would obviously be bad. But luckily, working on trucks is a little bit safer than working on cars, because you're most likely not going to get crushed under the truck. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get to uh, lifting this Ranger. We're going to go ahead and get these lift shackles on the rear. Super simple. You don't even have to take the tires off to get these on. So you gotta lift the truck in the air. You can see your old shackle, it's right there. All you gotta do is unbolt the top bolt and the bottom bolt and it pops right out. And then you just replace your new shackle with your old shackle. And then your lift is all done. So it's super simple to do this lift in the rear. I highly recommend it. Really good option if you're on a low budget or just really wanna get the look. So let's go ahead and get these on. We have to take off the tow package because this is an aftermarket tow package which goes into the way of the leaf spring uh, bolt, or not the leaf spring bolt, the bolt for the shackle. So if you look right on here, you can see if you hit that bolt out, it's going to hit this aftermarket tow bar. So unless you have this tow bar, you don't have to take it off, but we do have to take it off because we do have it. So it's pretty simple to take off, it's just four bolts. So it doesn't take like that much longer. But we're gonna go ahead 
and get this off and get that new lift on there. We just got the bolt off on this side. We got the hitch off. Now we're taking this bolt off here and then take off the top bolt up there. And then we just replace the shackle with the new drop shackle. Your new shackle is quite a bit longer than your old shackle. So let's get this guy in there. So all you gotta do, get your bolts in there, make sure you put some anti seats on the threads and lube up your bolt. And then you just slap it on in there. We got this all bolted up. Just gotta tighten the bolt down, as you can see. That's how it's supposed to look. Get your torquing all your bolts down to spec. And for this kit, it is 65 foot pounds. So just go until you get the click right there. And now it's good to go. So there you go. The new shackle is all the way in there. And now you can see the difference from this shackle. To this one, this one's way more tucked up in there. And you should get about uh, an inch and a half of lifts out of this. So we're gonna be cleaning off this bolt, bolt because it's a little rusty and you don't want rusty bolts. So you should replace this, but we're just gonna clean it off and put it back in. Make sure that you are greasing the Zerk fittings up here. You don't want your suspension to squeak. You don't want any binding up there. So it's a few squirts in there and you are good to go. And you wanna make sure you're doing that with every oil change, you want to do grease all your bushings that have Zerk fittings. Okay, so now we are headed to the store to get a U-bolt because we have to make our own tool because uh, O'Reilly's didn't have the tool we needed to take the torsion uh, off the torsion key. So we're gonna go make our own tool now and hopefully we'll be able to lift done. Normally the lift is really easy to do. This is not like a common occurrence, so don't let this discourage you. Uh, we're going to show you guys how to make this tool really easily with like $10 and it might even be cheaper than renting the tool from O'Reilly's. So. We are taking off this key right here. So first off, we don't have the right tool. So what we're going to be doing, we are making the tool over there right now. And right now we're gonna take out this little um, thing that you screw the screw in, which makes, it turns the torsion key, which turns this bar, putting like more uh, spring rate on the suspension. So you can put the new torsion key on there, it actually has more uh, adjustability. So you can adjust it more and put more tension on this rod, which makes more lift. So right now we can do kind of a sketchy way to do this, but that's all we got. As we lift it, it takes the pressure off of this piece right here, so now we can get this piece out. And now this is, has a lot of pressure on it, so you want to not stand under the truck because it could. Oh, I don't know, I was not bad. Okay, oh, yeah, there we go. And. That's good. So now we just hit this off there with a sledgehammer right here. And there goes that. So now we take, what is the new one? Now we take our new lift key and this goes on the bottom to two uh, holes. And all you do, you put it in there like that. So where's the old lift key, right here? Yeah. So, as you guys can see, if you look at these like this, you can kind of see that the, the way the hexagon is on there is different. So this one's more, like when you put it on, how you put it on the truck, it would be like this, right? So it has that much angle on it. Now the stock one, when you put that one on there, how you put it on the truck, a lot less angle here. So that's why you have that's where you're getting the extra adjustability. So we're gonna go ahead, put that one on like that. And now we gotta go make our tool so that we can push this up into here and put it all back together. Okay guys, so this is our tool that we made. As you can see, it's a piece of angle iron that's very thick. 
Um, I think it's about seven inches. And then you got your two holes here for your U-bolt. We got this at uh, Tractor Supply. And this goes over the, the X-brace or whatever that is right there. This goes under it, like this. And, and this is also optional, remember that. You, there is a tool out there made for this job. And then what you do, you put your two bolts on here, thread them on, on both sides. And all you do is you tighten these down one by one, like a little bit at a time, and it will put the key up into place, and then you're good to go. So, so this is our custom tool that we made. Um, it's just a U-bolt, and then a piece of angle iron on the bottom with a bolt in the middle, right here. So all we do now is, where's the other bolt? It was right here. Oh, let's do it all the way off. My bad. So we tighten these bolts on here with our impact. You want to tighten them evenly, obviously. And then you put it right here on the little hole that's in the uh, torsion key. And that lifts the key up in here so you can put the, this little spacer, as you can see on this side, in here. And then once you have that in there, you take, you take this bolt right here, which is your actual, how you adjust your lift. You put that in there and you tighten this bolt down as much as you want to change how high you want the lift. So the more you tighten it, the more lifted your truck's gonna be because it's making this tighter, which means your suspension's gonna be tighter, which means it's gonna be higher off the ground. So let's go ahead and get this one zapped on there. So, we just got it all on there. It's all buttoned up right now. All we have to do now is adjust the ride height so that it's even on both sides. So remember to make sure that you torque all these bolts to spec and also to make sure that your skid plates go back on, which is these pieces that go over the torsion key. So let's go ahead and get this thing off the lift. Okay guys, we just finished the lift install on the Ranger. It's not here right now, but we finished it. It looks awesome. We cannot thank Wolf Suspensions enough for sending out, us out that lift kit. Uh, Tim is stoked on the product. He said it rides great. The like look of the truck has completely changed. It looks so much better than stock. You wanna say a few things uh, about how you feel? Uh, very quality product, all the parts, uh, excellent materials that they use, quality powder powder coating on it, uh, very nice forged uh, torsion keys. Very happy with the result. And also their instructions that came with the kit were very detailed into what you need to do. It's a very simple install. I highly recommend it to anyone who's trying to do a uh, lift on their Ranger. And if you're in high school, say you like need a lift, go on the website, check it out. The link will be in the description. They have really great pricing on their products. Uh, it helps the channel out to go check them out, so go do that. And thanks again for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe.